Hey everyone, it's Mike with Presentation Plus Ups. If you've ever wondered if there's if you've ever wondered what's beyond Zoom or Teams in terms of production value, and you don't want to invest in something like what I have here, which is kind of a crazy home office studio, well, today's your lucky day. That's exactly what we're going to talk about. So looking forward to it. I am going to preview how you can use a cool tool, whoa, like this, like StreamYard to have your own personal, amazing online virtual meeting space. It's not quite what they've thought of, but I promise you, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned. Okay, we're going to talk about how you can use StreamYard, which is a live streaming online production tool as a powerhouse media generator. And I'm talking about holding your own meetings with 10 or less individuals. I'm talking about recording on-demand content and having that ability to edit it and really control the look and feel. And I'm also talking about the ability to have a really turnkey live streaming solution. So if you haven't checked out tools like StreamYard, I would encourage you to at least do a little Googling on it. There's several different online video production streaming tools out there. But this is one that I personally use. I like it. I even use it for podcasting. In terms of presentation plus ups, I think this is a legit feature. So I will say this, they have everything from a free version that you can absolutely just test out to ones that you can brand up for your own. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make myself small and make the StreamYard tool big and just show you how it works so you can get a feel of it, okay? So let's take a peek here. The first thing is once you have signed up and set up your account, when you log into StreamYard, it will just remember you and bring you up here. Okay, so you can see that you can set up broadcast, you can look at previous videos, you can set up your streaming destinations, you can even add new members if you have a higher end version and you can have different members to your team. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just create a broadcast. So whenever, let's say you have a meeting. So if you were in Zoom or Teams, you'd set up a meeting. Here, you'd set up a broadcast, okay? And you can even set up one with pre-recorded video, but I'm gonna show you how, let's just set up a new broadcast and show you how tools work here. So if I wanted to do a live stream, I could, but if you wanna use this as a bit of a Swiss army knife for media creation, or like I said, live, live video production to make a better meeting, um, I would say just hit record only, okay? And I'm just gonna name this demo, okay? I'm just making a demo, creating broadcast. Now, before you step into your vir virtual studio, and I want you to think of this kind of like this, that you're truly stepping in to your virtual studio, except StreamYard has built this right into the tool, okay? So, I am doing a little, you're gonna get a weird little reflection because I am using OBS and my virtual camera to cut this. So I'm using another tool to cut this. But what I want you to do is just notice that we can hit enter studio here, okay? All right, so when we hit enter studio, what you're going to notice is that uh, we have not added ourselves to the stream yet. I'm gonna add ourselves to the stream right now you're gonna get this crazy reflection of me. What I want you to focus on though, is focus on this outer ring. So this is a production studio. We've added ourselves into the broadcast. Now, if we wanted to invite other people to join us here versus in another world like Teams or Zoom, this is gonna be a really cool experience. So what I'm gonna do is hit, I'm gonna hit invite and I'm just gonna copy this to the clipboard here. And you can see you can have up to 10 people at once in your video studio. So I'm just gonna hit copy to clipboard and I'm gonna email this to myself. So while I'm doing that, let's just go back to a normal uh, email here. I'm just gonna email it to my iPhone. I'm just gonna have myself jump in as a proxy here. So hold on a second. Okay, so we've got two guests in our StreamYard virtual studio here. And I want you to think about this way. If you wanted to have a meeting and you know you have yourself and a maximum of nine other stakeholders, and I think you would agree for client consultations and for just general training sessions even, that's a pretty realistic scenario when it comes to a virtual world. 
And what I would recommend if you want to record it is go ahead and push record up there in the top and you could just go ahead and record that meeting, okay? I'm not gonna do that now because if you're just using this as a traditional meeting and you don't really want to record it, you don't have to, okay? So this is, um, this is a good thing, right? So we've got a really high quality experience right here. And the, what's great about this is that you have that ability to, of production control. So down here, you've got various buttons that you can bring up to have different things. So if you want to have more of that branded effect, you can have it. If you wanted to have your own logo come up, well, you can do it. You can also place overlays over this. So if you wanted to create some sort of branded overlay, and here's kind of a ridiculous overlay. I think it's, it's the same shirt that I'm wearing right now, but you can actually put a full screen overlay like this, and you can see that you can also have, I would call that a safety screen that is non-linear, right? So it's not part of a slide deck. It's truly separate. The other things I think are very cool in terms of this branding, you can change the color to something else. So if you're like, that's eh, not quite my color, you can do this. Or if you actually have the, the hexadecimal value for it, you can go ahead and switch that up and you'll see that this will immediately follow suit. So from a production standpoint, this is great. If you have an audience member that's joining you, what I could, the first thing I usually do is say, I invite them to hover their mouse over that little bottom right of their little video screen and touch it, and the screen will go large for them. Now, if you have the pro account, which by the way is $50 a month, which is worth its weight in gold, if you're using this for streaming, recording, but that gives you this branded look, but it also gives you 1080p quality. So if you can look here, we're looking fantastic. Now, my camera under Michael Teal, not iPhone Mike, this is a DSLR that is just stunning in terms of its capacity to give you a super clean look. I've got the green screen working. And uh, yeah, we're doing some good things. So, But as a participant, they can now go ahead and enjoy this look and have a fantastic uh, presentation while you on your side can control that show and bring people up. If I want to solo someone, I can solo iPhone mic. If I want to solo myself, I could do that. If I want to bring us just back to that background, you've got some great capabilities. So lots of amazing things that you can do here within this. And again, we're just saying this is a meeting, right? This is just a basic meeting. Now, the other things that we can do in addition to changing those backgrounds to various things and you can just upload background. So you could quite honestly just use PowerPoint and export a cool background they've created in PowerPoint as a PNG file and bring it in or you have InDesign and wanna make things at 1080p or you use Canva, that kind of thing. You can go ahead and do a lot of different um, benefits and, and features in here. But just in terms of a studio and creating that experience, I mean, for me, some of the pain points for me when it comes to running a meeting in Zoom or Teams is the fact that I don't have much production control unless I have, like I've kind of shown here before, and I'll just go ahead and back it up, right? If you have a big fancy studio, yeah, you can do some things, but if you don't have all these tools and it's just you and your camera, well, you can see right here, I'm giving you that ability already through StreamYard's brilliant system to manage that end product that everyone sees, okay? So this is good stuff. Moving on down, you're going to notice that under this branding element, and by the way, with branding, you can create a new brand anytime you want and add in your custom background, your custom videos, your overlays, your logos. Logos. You can switch the color themes to things that you want at a moment's notice. It's just a, it's a great system. Well done on that end stream yard. Very user-friendly. Thing I like, though, for you as the lay person is you can also upload your own video clips. I think up to a maximum of 50 megabytes, but here's just a quick example of this. They have a countdown video here. I'm going to just play a few seconds of it. I will say this, it is on or off. There's no soft fade for it. So that would be something if we're going to recommend, if we're going to recommend an iteration later on, that's something I would do, but I'm going to do this in five, four, Three. And by the way, you can also unmute your microphone and talk over the video a little bit. 
welcome people in. So maybe it's not quite so abrupt when you come back. So that is a great example of how this is a fantastic tool, again, for live streaming, for just a meeting, for recording content, for more of a high production on-demand video. Fantastic tools. Let's move on back. We've already seen these backgrounds and how you can do some cool stuff in here. You can add backgrounds. They have default backgrounds. You can add images. So it's super, super easy to do this. So really well done. Excuse me, I just hit the microphone. Really well done on that respect. The thing that um, I've also noticed has been a pain point is not having music or audio. Well, congratulations, StreamYard has put in this really cool looping feature and you can play some music. So if you want some environmental music going while you're having an event and you're planning something, you can see, you can turn it up. I'm just gonna kick this down around 14, just give us a little bit of environment. Let's put back my presentation plus ups. And by the way, if you haven't checked out my channel before, please go to Pleasant, <laughs> Please go to Presentation Plus Ups, check us out, like, subscribe. I'm not quite at 400 subscribers. I'd love to get it over that 1,000, love to get it up to 2 million, but step one is just keeping on giving you some cool content. So hopefully you're enjoying this one. So if you do, please like, subscribe. It's it's such a small thing for you to hit that subscribe button, that notification button. It means the world to me though, and please post your comments below. But hopefully you can see here, this is solving a lot of the problems for a typical meeting, video, audio, control of what people are seeing, and we haven't even gotten to the basic element of screen share yet. So it's time to screen share. Now here's what's great about this system. I'm gonna hit share. I am going to either choose some uploaded content that I've already uploaded. I'm not gonna do that because if you upload a PowerPoint, it's gonna strip out your fonts unless they're super generic. So I'd recommend if you're gonna do slides this way, I would probably grab a PDF or uh, a Google slide or something like that. So I'm gonna skip that one, but it's a great thing if you have a team. What I'm gonna do is just hit share screen, okay? So share screen, let me pick one of my screens here. If you wanna share your system audio, you can. I don't need to because I already have this already set up here today, so. But here's the deal, we are sharing our screen. We're doing it, so if I ever wanna add this, I can just hit add to stream, and it's gonna bring it on over. And you can see, we've got this now set up where my slide deck is moving and doing its thing. So at this point, I could go ahead and advance that deck. And the one thing you don't notice right now, but believe me, because I'm checking it out on my little iPhone mic, is that all the animations whiz and whir really nicely. This is a pretty complex deck in terms of things that are happening. I'm just gonna back that up so you can see. All that motion is framing really nicely because we're streaming in that video range of 25, 30 frames per second right now. So we're getting really good control of it. Now, incidentally, in this deck, I do have a few things going here in terms of things that I've considered traditional pain points. And you can see, that we can actually control this a little bit if I move over here from my studio and set this up. We can set this up in that smaller picture-in-picture -picture mode, which is super great. We can go back to the traditional style. And bear in mind, if you were watching, you probably, I would have already had you put this in maximize mode. So you're getting this kind of view where you're getting a high quality view of this content. I think that's, that's, that's a pretty fantastic thing that's going on here. But also we can go ahead and vary that up and switch up what's happening, what people are seeing. I think that's a massive win. Now here's another thing I'm gonna show you is you can also set it up where you are inside this picture in picture layout right here. And if I wanted to turn off somebody in the crowd that I don't want people to see, I could go ahead and just remove them from the picture. They can hear us, they wouldn't be part of the conversation right now but uh, you can go ahead and, and, and have that. You could just take them off and then you could add them back to that stream. At that point, their microphone is going again. So lots of great ways that you can have people be part of this presentation. You're gonna notice if I go back to that slide deck, it's just working and uh, it's kind of cool in a way that people are in the slide deck 
They're in the computer, right? And any time you want to go away from it and go back to just having a little variety, you can step out. You haven't had to end that screen share yet. You want to step back into it, boom, you're back into it. So I think just from a meeting tool, this is an amazing tool. StreamYard has so much potential for you in terms of that control, all right? So those are some massive wins. And again, if you just wanted to vary it up and at times just go to pure screen share, you can do that. You're in what they call cinema layout. And yeah, that, is, that content is just looking great. It looks 1080p for everyone, okay? It's just, it's just a massive, massive feature in terms of the control and what we have and what we have the capability to do in StreamYard. So this is something that I'm a major fan of. Again, if you want to put your logo up anytime, you can do that. And um, yeah, we're not even done yet, okay? We are just in the branding section, okay? So again, depending on different clients or projects, you can create different brand universities in here, or think of these as little classrooms. So I'm gonna set up a GP Strategies, and you're gonna notice, so GP Strategies is my full-time employer. They're awesome. We're a workforce transformation company. And you will notice that you can set this up and brand this environment, which, which has your own content. And then at a moment's notice, you can switch to a different environment. So if you're going from one meeting to another, you're a consultant with multiple clients, you can have that set up, okay? So lots of good things in the brand section. Incidentally, if you wanna have a private chat, you can go ahead and have a private chat with your guests. If you're not using this as a traditional meeting tool, you can do that. But I wanna get into the banners, okay? So in the banner section, What's great here is you could actually create a whole set of topics and not even have a PowerPoint, just have something come up here. And if you go, well, that's not quite the way I want it to look. Maybe you want to have that banner look a little more like this. And again, if that color is not quite to your taste, you can switch that banner to a different color. And yeah, you're off to the races. So you can have a branded experience right there where you just have more of a more of a production level quality, right? So if you want everyone to go full screen, but still have that banner over the names, I think that's amazing in terms of what you can do. I also like the fact that you can have banners be, be little tickers and you can turn off banners at a moment's notice and, and have those going. So you can see this could be a very cool tool for you in terms of your ability to run a very cool meeting, let alone a stream, let alone anything else. This has some fantastic tools. Now to create a banner, it's as easy as this. You hit create a banner and you put in some information. Hi, I'm a banner, right? You want it to scroll across the bottom or not? I don't want it to, I want it to be this. And what I'm gonna do is just put that one up there for us. And we've got it set. If I wanna hide one, I can hide it, okay? Super easy. One of my tips and strategies would be if you have a client coming in or a guest, put up a banner for them. Welcome, Diane. We're so glad that you're here today. Uh, can't wait to, to talk about it. I've got a few things we want to talk about today. We were going to talk about presentation skills. So let's go ahead and start that out here. At this point, you could jump over to your PowerPoint deck, um, pop through a few things, have Diane join you on this little mission if you want her over here or change that look up and have you both down here at the bottom. And you can see people are part of that presentation. I think these are massive wins. Okay, so I think we've stepped through a few things in terms of the features and benefits of this tool. And again, the context we're looking at right now is this is truly for more of your traditional meeting, a way to go beyond Zoom or Teams or WebEx when you have a limited field audience, okay? So you might go, okay, uh, what if I have 30 people or 50 people? And um, yeah, I'd like to have some interaction with them. So my question to you would be this, and I'm gonna turn off my iPhone mic here right now. We're gonna remove him from this little bit here. And I'm just gonna say that in that case, what I would recommend is that you consider a couple things. Number one, Instead of saying record, you could go ahead and stream this out to YouTube or to a custom branded real-time media protocol, private, covert, um, let's say an enterprise level stream. You could stream this to your own 
real-time media player and stream it onto a website. So if you have a password protected website, then you could stream this to a million people and invite them to use the comments feature, okay? So if we had some comments set up to this, all you'd have to do is add a destination. So if this was set up to my YouTube channel, people could post comments and then you'd see those comments show up here live on screen. It would actually show my YouTube uh, brand right here and then have the comments. And the cool thing is, as the producer, you see those show up in real time, all right? So, and you can take them on and off whenever you want. It's just so powerful in terms of that ability to have content and have that ability to control what it looks and feels like. So those are some basic reasons that I would highly recommend that you check out StreamYard. It's a fantastic tool. And um, at this point, and when you're done with the meeting, I will say this, you'd want to say bye-bye to everyone. If you've started recording, I would say stop recording. This is not really a procedural video. It's super easy on how to do that. But then, um, yeah, you can just hit leave studio. And once you've left that studio, you're gonna notice that you can still go in and um, you have that ability to see any of your upcoming broadcast. Now, incidentally, this demo one, because I was not recording, is gonna stay here. Okay, so hopefully you can see there's a lot of benefits to using StreamYard to just go beyond a typical Zoom or Teams meeting if you have 10 people or less, and that means you and nine others you are set up for a nice, cool, collaborative in-person meeting. Now, as a side bonus, you can use all the tools that StreamYard's actually meant to be designed for, which would be, of course, live streaming. Um, and let me just show you a couple of things there in terms of what's set up. So I'll go ahead and make that screen large again. And what I want you to notice, if you're creating a broadcast, it's super simple, hit new broadcast. And I'm just gonna set this one up to live stream to my Mike Teal and um, I'm just going to put in here sample live stream, okay? You can make it private, public, unlisted. I'm just going to make this one unlisted, and you can schedule it for later, or let's just create a broadcast. So I'm going to create it right now. Now, if you've hooked up your YouTube account to it, if you have a YouTube or a Vimeo, super easy to do. I mean, the folks at StreamYard have done a heck of a job uh, making this happen. You can see you can enter your name in and boom, you're into the system. You're into here. I'm going to switch over my branding. Let's go into my presentation plus ups area here. And yeah, you're off to the races. You have, you've got your system all set up and you're in there. Okay. Now when it says go live, you just hit go live. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and take it live. Okay. So we're going live and when we're ready to uh, have our meeting, just bear in mind that right now we are truly live on YouTube. So if you wanted to start this thing out and say, hello everyone, we're so excited. Number one, just add yourself to the stream, key point. Add yourself to the stream, do your talk, do any kind of shtick that you're doing. Whoa, check this out, I'm here in the live stream. We're so excited to have you today and um, yeah, so you can do it. Now you can see how many people are watching you up here. Now, as far as the comments go, let's go ahead and uh, let's check out those comments and see what's happening right here. I'm just gonna post a comment here. Oh, very nice comment, appreciate that. Okay, so that's been posted and then I can show that and you can see it says, this is awesome, you are the best, right? So we've got just some, uh, some cool stuff that you can do on this. So I'm a massive fan of this tool. I think there's so much to do with it and we could go so much further, but hopefully today this gave you a little bit of a feel of how this works, how the system works, why I think StreamYard is such a great tool for things way beyond what it's actually meant for. So hopefully you found some value in this. Again, StreamYard is great. I think it's a cool tool. Now, this is just kind of some fun stuff. See how it's framing me because I'm using the virtual camera from my OBS studio. I just can't stop doing that. It's kind of fun. It was like a 1980s video or something. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, looks like my family's home. I hear my dog barking, so I'm going to bid you all adieu. Please make it a great day. If you have 
a topic that you want me to look at or think about, send it my way. But in the meantime, thanks so much. Please take care of yourselves.